right guys today i'm on a solo mission the same lake i fished last time uh, lowell lake uh, yeah that's what it's called and it's been pretty warm the past week I'm talking low 30s mid 40s so a lot of the snow has melted but we'll see if the lake actually still has ice which it should i don't think it should change but it might be just a little bit uh, melted but it's fun fishing when it's warm you know you don't have to dress well so you know the dress so uh, ready for you know the cold i'm just in sweatpants and a light hoodie so see you guys out on the lake water ice is pretty slushy out here so let's see how deep it is Uh, wasn't recording but the tip up just went off we have our first fish not too bad i guess seems like they don't want the middle switch it up This one? No, let's let this guy go. Really hoping to get a pike today. We'll see what happens. Oh, there's another one. Oh, they're all this, this size. I'm gonna need them a little bit bigger than this. Yeah, let's let that one go too. That's three so far. Move in a bit. Ooh, wow, that was a... Wow. That was a good fish. I cannot believe I missed that. I cannot believe I missed that. There's one. 
Mm, feels. Oh, all these cookie cutters. I need them this size. Yeah, this is the one go to. Ooh, that's a good size. Yeah, it's not too bad. Actually. I did not even feel that one. I only saw it on the tip. I guess that is the smallest one too. Look at that monster. Guess this ultralight really really does work pretty well. Super sensitive tip. Using the HT blue combo. I believe that's what it was. It's like Twenty dollars at Fleet Farm, but then I think it's on sale for like sixteen bucks. It is not bad. Sixteen dollars for a combo, three dollars for line, two dollars for jigs. It's a lot cheaper than conventional fishing. I'll tell you that. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, what is that? It's a bigger fish. That is, oh, yep, it's pulling drag. Yes, yes, I got, I got a big one. Finally. Oh, it's pulling drag. Yes, finally. Oh, come on. I hope it's a bass. I really hope it's a bass. What is it? What is it? What is it? I can't see. Is that a bass? Oh, it's a pike. It's actually it's maybe like 20 inches. Oh, it's feisty. There it is. Oh, I actually foul hooked it. Careful. Oh, that is my first pike through the ice. And it was, look at it, hooked it right above the eye. That is crazy. Oh. Okay. First pike ever. Let's black this hole up. I need a picture. Okay guys, sorry, I had to switch. I just kind of kept in the middle bucket. Battery died, I had to switch batteries real quick. There we go. Let's estimate, I think this is, ooh, this is 26 inches. Pike is about, rough estimate. Stay still, stay still, stay still. About 
20 inches. All right. There you go, fella. Thanks for the fight. There it goes. Yes! Yes! Two thumbs up, finally. Got what I wanted. Oh, man. Ooh. That is awesome. Oh, that's a bite. And... Ooh. What is that? Oh. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's... That's what you call a giant perch. That is the biggest perch today. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, come on, let me grab you. That's like, that's like eight, nine inches. That's the biggest one today. That is not a bad fish. No, it's still good. Still usable. Set it up again. What I'm doing here is just setting the minnow all the way at the bottom. It's just right above the bottom. And barely and then I think that's where that's how I'm getting most of my bites. We're just picking it off the bottom. Yeah, so that pike had it set up on the tip up. And I'm watching it the whole time while jigging this hole. And I saw it. I saw the tip up moving and I was already expecting a bite and it seemed like it was a decent size, you know, decent sized perch at the, at the beginning but right when I got there as I think you might be able to see in um, the video it, the whole rod started bending and I was like you know at that moment I, I knew like it had to be something big I really hope it was a bat you know I was really hoping it was a bass because I just I just want to catch a bass through the ice, you know. It's like it's one goal I have to do before the ice melts. But got one pike, and that's actually my first pike ever. I think I had one a long time ago, but then uh, it bit me off. But this one, so far, it's my only pike. So technically, it is my personal best pike through the ice, but it's still a pike regardless. It's a good fish. It's a good fight, especially on these small ice rods, you know. Oh, man, I'm glad I came up today.